Hello, my name is Pavel and I would like to welcome you to this uh, C++ software development uh, exercise or a project called Serendipity Booksellers. This is a C++ exercise for college students. This is a very common exercise uh, or very common type of exercise for college students. So uh, if you are in a college and you are majoring in computer programming, this is an exercise you may need to get quite familiar with. All right, so uh, in this first video, we will simply go over the project specifications so we see what it is that we are going to be building. So the project description is quite simple. We are a small bookstore located in a shopping mall and the manager wants us to develop a point of sale software package that will make the computer function as a cash register and keep an inventory file. The software needs to do a few things. It has to calculate the total of a sale, including sales tag. Uh, it has to uh, know that when the book is purchased, it needs to subtract it from the inventory file. We need to be able to add, change, delete, and look up books in the inventory file. And we need to be able to display various sales reports. Now this is a step-by-step -step project. In other words, there will be multiple videos. I don't know how many yet, but at least 20. And um, each video will start with a specific uh, description that is given to us. That means that, uh, uh, let's say, I do something in video one, and then in video five, I'll have to completely redo it because the specifications will change. This is actually quite common, even in the real world. But the purpose for this is uh, to practice various techniques and uh, to see how the project is being put together step by step. Remember, this is an exercise, so the journey is uh, just as important as the destination because that's how you learn, that's how you uh, practice uh, what you already know and learn uh, new tricks. Uh, and new programming techniques. All right, so let's have a look at the modules that the program will need. Uh, it will need a cashier module, inventory database module, and a report module. So these three modules are the core of the of the software that we are going to be developing. The cashier module allows the computer to act as a cash register. The user enters information for the books being purchased and the program calculates the sales tax and the total price. In addition, the books being purchased are automatically subtracted from the inventory database. So uh, basically we will sell a book, we will, uh, we will know how much profit we made out of for that book, but also we will need to uh, update our inventory when the book is being purchased. So this is the cashier module. The actual inventory database module is basically our database. It will have several fields that, uh, like our ISBN, which would be the ID for each book. It will have a title of the book, the author, publisher, date added, which is when the, the date when the book was added to the inventory, quantity on hand, which is the number of copies of the books of that particular book in the inventory. It will have the wholesale cost which is the number that basically tells us how much money we have tied, tied up in the current inventory. And retail price, which is the price for, obviously, we are selling each book. So uh, other than that, we will also need to be able to add new books to the file. We will be able to delete books and change any information in the database for each book. And finally, the report module basically gives us some uh, look uh, on our how are we performing as a bookstore. It gives us uh, some reports that we will be able to analyze. One of the reports will be inventory list, which is basically all the books in the inventory. We just list them all. Inventory wholesale value, which is uh, how much uh, are, is our inventory worth currently. Uh, the inventory retail value, 
which is uh, if we sold every book, how much uh, revenue we would get back. Um, we will be able to list by quantity, which is basically will give us uh, each qu uh, the books and uh, their quantity in our inventory, starting with the book that has the highest quantity. Similarly, we'll do the list by cost, which gives us the uh, report of uh, the prices for each book, and we will list the most expensive one first and the least expensive one last. And finally, list by age, which is the books in the inventory sorted by purchase date. The books that have been in the inventory longest will be listed first. So this is probably a report that will give us a pretty good look at what sells and what doesn't. Because obviously, if the book has been in the inventory for a year uh, and none of them sell, sold, so I, it's not really very a good sell, selling book, obviously. So. Um, this is the project. Um, like I said, this is going to be a step-by-step -step process with multiple videos. And uh, now when we know what we are going to be building, let's get to it because we have quite a journey ahead of us. I'll see you in the next video.